is the ninth video in a series of 10 tutorials on how to use the pen tool in Illustrator CC. In the last video, we learned how to use the curvature tool and how to group objects. In this video, we'll talk about how to use the width tool and how to manipulate the strokes that you make. Again, I have a link to download the character that we're using, but if you're teaching graphic design, Know that this video goes with the Pen Tool Exercises to Learn Illustrator Tools unit at digitalartteacher.com. Check the info bar at the top of the page for more teaching resources. So how do you manipulate a stroke? Let's start off with the antenna. Create a curve with your pen tool that follows the one in the drawing. I am going to click just to the inside of these two shapes hold down Alt, and click and drag this curve. Then later, I will move this antenna to the back. Now go to the toolbar and find the width tool. With this tool, you can adjust the width of a stroke wherever you click and drag. So if I click in the middle, then I will have a fat middle and skinny sides. If I click on the end, then I will have a fat beginning and skinny end. You can choose what you want your antennae to look like. Now, I'll select both and send them to the back. And then, change the stroke to black. Speaking of changing the stroke, if you want to, all of this has a pink stroke on it. So if you select everything, you can double click the stroke and give it a black stroke. Or if you prefer, you could tell it not to have any stroke at all. But for a cartoon, the black stroke works pretty nicely. Of course, as far as the width tool goes, you don't have to use it at all if you like the skinny one line look but I think that you will appreciate it when you come down here to the smile. I'll do the same thing and click, and then I will hold Alt and drag it. And Command click outside the line. The stroke looks a lot thicker than it did before because we used the width tool. If I click on my smile and I come up here to stroke, you'll see that it's at 3.79 and before it was at one. So when you use the width tool, it will remember how thick you had it on your previous line. Back to the width tool, click and drag, and you'll have tapered ends on your smile. Now let's create this little smile end. And the same thing, click and drag to give that a fat middle. Since we're zoomed in so closely, you can see that we have a flat end at the end of this smile. We can round out the edges of our strokes by going to the option bar, selecting stroke and choosing round cap. Of course, you have to have your line selected. And I can do the same thing with this end of the smile. This is helpful if you're working with a single line, but what if you have a shape that you wanna make a round corner out of? For example, this point over here. What if we didn't want this to be quite so pointy? We could go to stroke, and instead of doing cap, we could do corner. And you can see how that rounds out the end. Of course, if you'd like to have a more pointy end for the stinger, you could do that too. Moving down to the legs, I'll create them with a single stroke just as I did before and adjust them all once I'm finished.
You can play around with the width tool with these as well if you like. For the feet, you have several options. You can create an ellipse to make your little feet. You can use the pen tool or you can create one line with your pen tool. Don't click here on anchor or intersect. Click just outside of that. Otherwise, like I have done here, you will connect. I did it again. Click just outside of it. And you can use the width tool again to create that foot shape. And if you like it, you can go back up here to stroke and give it a round cap. And then move that foot where you want it. If you select Alt and drag, you can copy that shape to the different parts of the bee. If you like, you can make the front feet just a little bigger to give a little perspective. We covered a lot in this video here, so feel free to go back and rewatch anything you may have missed, and I will see you in the next one.